Do you find merging two surfaces in Gravity Sketch and having a bevel between them a pain in the ass? Well, then this video might help you. Okay, so let's start with the problem. So the problem is, I had this shape here, you know, this one, and I had the main body and I wanted to connect them and I wanted to have really nice bevel uh, between two surfaces. And what I end up doing, I end up doing all modeling it inside, um, inside Gravity Sketch. And lately, I think I figured a way to do it much better. So, yeah, that was really cumbersome to do it in Gravity Sketch because basically you do it by duplicating the edge loop and moving it slightly and then, you know, forcing uh, <clears throat> this surface to be much more, much more edgy and not as fluent. And the same had to be done for this angle, not, not angle, for this edge and for this edge. And it was just pain in the butt. Now I think I discovered, and same here, I discovered the better way. I haven't uh, invested uh, like on practice. I've, I haven't done any actual uh, sketching with this method yet, but I will and I think it will work. But for now, go to a new layer. And let's just hide all that. Yeah, so basically what I need to do... Okay, let's turn this on just for... And now let's do a surface. Let's say this is, you know, side of my of my jet bike that I was doing. You know what? Sorry, I will flip us around a little bit. Now, and that's that's a wing. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well, first we will simplify it, and then oh, actually I didn't simplify it. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah. So you know, just simple modeling it it's not important what i'm doing right now just but basically what i'm doing actually it is important i'm <clears throat> uh let's just remove some edge loops that we don't need so the point is i don't want to m merge them and uh, weld them in gravity sketch i will I will do that in Fusion 360 because I can. Anyway, it doesn't matter where this end of this surface ends, as long as it's inside, as long and as long as it's uh, crossing. Actually, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't need to cross it. But yeah, so imagine you have this build and you're doing this fu funky. Um, you know, protrusion here, and you want to join this with, with, with this. And in Gravity Sketch, I would start first combining... Well, first of all, let's make this one also a sub-D surface. Yeah, and so first, what I would need to do is... Uh, combine it with you know this one so they are the same kind of thing but they still separate well they are now they're the same but they're not joined per se so it's not a single surface but I want it to be a single surface so let me go back oops how do I now we are back with two different surfaces. Now, so what I do is now I will export that. Ooh, why is it? Well, it doesn't matter. 
That's my so I will export it is uh, I guess I don't think there is more settings unfortunately inside. Oh interesting why it's here. Anyway, I will export that uh test export boom I'll wait it to upload and then we will go to computer. Okay and so now when you are in front of computer I go to lensing pad dot me dot files slash files and stuff and I find this IGS file that we saved and I download it and I open it in Fusion 360 just open it and here we go that's our two surfaces and those two surfaces are actually good you know surfaces so uh, unfortunately I'm not sure uh, what's the deal with uh, with that but they all all the parts are as a separate they're not stitched together but it's not a big problem we can easily stitch them together um, well we can we can stitch we can just select all of them to be and then there will be two surfaces left there's one and two so one and two and now you can imagine what I'm going to do I will just uh, you know cut this from here and then and then maybe I will um, also split these surfaces uh, oh, actually with that surface now if I you know so if I hide this one there is a there is a silhouette of the other one and I just select them all I delete them now you have a perfect hole you have a perfect thing now you just merge them together and you have one surface and now if you want you know you can leave it like this but you can uh, go and do whatever you want with that so you can do fill it you know if that's if that's what you want or you can do all the other things yeah now you have perfect fillet uh, <clears throat> around a join joint of the surfaces so going forward I'm not going to be trying to do that kind of thing you know join two surfaces uh, inside gravity sketch itself I will just do it in post in um, infusion Thank you.